We're back. Now we're ready for the tub. So we've moved Yay. over. We're gonna do it in the kitchen sink. I'm choosing not to use the vegetable sprayer because I don't know how many of you will have them. So we're gonna use whatever products you would in the bathtub or in your sink. He's clearly small enough for a sink, so we're doing it here. Um, I don't know how much access all of us well, have to getting what? shampoo. But we don't actually have to do the tubby. You'll be scared. He's gonna be okay. Um, I don't know how many, how much we're all gonna have access to shampoos no, and things. So it's very that. easy to just use simple I dog dish soap. Think. And as you can see on there, see they have the pictures of the little ducks because it's gentle. It's extremely gentle and it gets rid of the grease we don't want to see but keeps the grease that the dog does need. Good oils and bad oils. So I save dish bottles. This one has like a little pump spray. So you fill it completely up with warm water. And then I'm going to take three decent sized dollops of the dish soap in it. Lid on. Help me sport and then shake it up. That will get your soap all diluted inside of your water bottle. Then we take him dry into the tub. Oh, and I forgot with the brushing, make sure you check behind their ears so there aren't any mats or tangles behind their ears. You all know that's a pretty decent spot. Brush on those just those directions to make sure there isn't anything in there. Okay, we're gonna be just fine. And giving your dog a bath is not a big deal. Number one, don't coddle them into thinking that it's the end of the world so that we're being super, super um, sweet to them and acting like it's a big deal. It's not. They're going to read your energy. And your energy is, you're dirty, you stink, you need a bath. Not a big deal. So in he goes. We take our little sprayer. And I said, on dry. And I take that. See how that saturates all of his little fur? And you're okay, little man. Lifting him up to get on those toes. On each side, does this one good? Yes, mine. Okay, we're gonna do face last because, again, least favorite spot on the dog. You say yes or no? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna clean every bit of him. Okay, we're gonna lift up these little back legs. Generally, the dirtiest spot is that back little rabbit foot looking part on your pup. He wants a dirty dog. He does. He wants to get out of here, but he'll be fine. You don't like to get your hair washed either, but you're always fine after. Mm -hmm. Okay, his body's just about saturated. Don't forget underneath their little necks. Head was last. It is last. We're moving up to the head. Okay, ears. The ears are part of the head. They are part of the head. Yes. Okay, we'll do his face, which is what I mean last. And then yeah. we're not getting in the ear, but we're going to turn it so that we can make sure we get this inner fold down here. You're okay, sport. <coughs> okay, same spot. Top of the nose. To keep them held. Tilt them up just a little bit, but we're never going to have it tilted up when we're putting soap in the nose because we don't want soap up <laughs> the nose. Mommy. Yes, love? He <laughs> looks like skeleton. <laughs> Dogs get much skinnier when they're in the tub. Yay! I think he got some in the eyes. It's okay if he gets it in his eyes. It's not going to hurt his eyes. And we have to clean around his eyes. That's unavoidable. You know how you always freak out that's going to get in your eyes, and then when it does, it's not that big a deal? little bit I'm gonna open up and just pour that down sport the suds are the best part okay wiggle it around remember those toes we talked about that looks like not our he's dog. clearly able to do one bottle because he's two and a half pounds you may have to fill it up a couple times each time you fill it up about three drops of the soap and then just keep going 
And if it's your dog's big enough where you feel like they're getting chilly, you can always have a towel in here that you keep warm and just lay it on their backs while you're working on other parts of their bodies. Okay, don't forget we talked about the comb. So while they're in the tub and they're wet, we're gonna comb out those the rest of the eye yuckies that we didn't get when they were dry. And brush through all of it. Or comb rather through all of it. Through that whole stinky yucky beard. Hmm? He doesn't look like Tookie anymore. He doesn't. He looks like a tiny little mouse now, huh? He doesn't look like Tookie. Okay, Tookie. don't forget those folds. Combing out all that gunk under there. Both sides. Okay. He's good to go. I know he doesn't have anything on his bottom, but if your dog did, you could still take the comb and brush across her bumps. Make that last. Clearly don't do their bumps and then their face. That's gross. Okay, water on. Get it to the right temperature. No oh, shaking. He's shivering, huh? He's shivering because he's not enjoying it, not because he's actually cold. I already know that. You did. Okay. Is that I'm gonna use a cup. You can use a bigger vessel if you need to. I'll put on his head. His head will be last. Can I pour it on his head? No. Why? I'm great. You are great, but I'd rather that we make sure we don't get any nose, any water up his nose, because that is actually dangerous. Right? That's why is that dangerous, Mom? Because it would be like drowning in Texas water goes up his nose. We also don't want water to go directly inside of his ears. Why? Because then he can get an ear infection. It looks like he lost his like, foot. Because he's lifting it up? Yeah. It looks like... But I think he did. I think I did. Yeah, he's... Oh, he hmm. did it too. Why? Okay, you can't possibly rinse enough. The most important thing you can do is making sure you get all of the soap off of him. Because that's typically what causes dander and itchy skin is that you leave shampoo residue or soap residue behind. And I know you think that with this big, long, furry coat, I would condition him, but that's not actually necessary. When we're back to our regular grooming schedule, we'll take care of the hair and the coat like normal, but for now, it's just important to have them clean. Bring him out just like you would, starting at the top. To the towel he goes. Good job, Bubba. <laughs> and just apply light pressure. Soak up. Don't put a lot of vigor into doing it because you're just going to kind of work in some more tangles and frizz out their coat. So light pressure. If you have like a hair dini, that's even better because then it really doesn't freeze up their hair. The snack. Your snack's quite loud. Can you go eat on the other side of the counter? Sure. Thanks. Aww. Okay, should we blow dry you? Okay, off the blow dryer it goes. So remember the clean towel surface. We took off the puppy pad. You could flip yours over. Take a pause before we blow dry.